the cop was there, you know, he goes up to him and said, look, there's accusations that you've been, you know, harassing young girls. And at this stage, he gave the bloke two options. You can come up on your own terms, or if you're going to play up, we're going to have to handcuff you, and we have to take you up that way in front of everyone. Mid-afternoon, and a rogue photographer has caught the attention of beachgoers. Uh, he took some photos of her as he rolled over, and then he followed him down to the water, so I thought I'd go and give him the heads up. Corey locates the man near the shoreline. He was with his son, his wife and kids and grandkids and the whole family. God explained that we needed to have a look at his phone. He was doing something inappropriate and the son had no idea. So he was like, OK, yeah, go for it. And then he was shocked. It's not acceptable. Yeah, yeah. You want to tell him why? You understand? You understand? It's not good, mate. As the photos are being deleted by the offender's son, the boyfriend of a victim sees the images. Hey. Can you do it? Yeah. There's a push and shove going on. There's push and shove. Yeah. 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 Don't do it. You understand the problem? Hang on, there's a push and shove going on. No way. There's push and shove. Yeah. He was ready to punch on with him. You understand the problem? I pretty much had to tell him, mate. Please don't. You're going to go with the police if you do. Right. Sorry, buddy. That family just had to leave the beach, and they were shattered because they were there just enjoying it, but just one person in the family ruined it for them, so they were, you know, they were gutted. Mate, tell him. Yeah. Got to go, mate. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, are yeah, go. going. We are going now. Yeah. He knew he'd been caught red-handed, and this young guy, I think, what he did was more than enough for the guy to probably never pick up a phone again. Ruth and her boyfriend Brad are on holidays from the UK. I didn't hit one of them because it was just to start a scene and then it just make everything a bit worse and again the police going for it and someone starting a fight on the beach. So. When he got the phone out, I looked and there was about 10 pictures to saw. It's like, you can tell it's there, on it? Terrible. No, guys. <laughs> we really try and do our best to uh, either have the police to deal with them or uh, make them get off the beach. I saw like these a few girls and they were like yelling at this gentleman and they were saying, oh, delete the photo, delete the photo. They're obviously sunbaking topless. No? What? What? You can't take photos like that. Uh, okay, okay, okay. No, 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 here we go. Look, Lee, Lee, which one? Which one? This one? That one? Yeah, okay, okay. yeah delete, delete. Okay. Oh, look, delete. There's a guy on the beach and he's blatantly taking photos of uh, girls with their tops off. I'm um, uh, a bit violated. I can't even come to the beach and sunbake without photos taken on me. He was just right there, but like kneeling with his camera pointing right at us. Like, it wasn't like even hidden or anything. It was just right there. Mate, I can call the police. No English. No English. Like, woo, 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 woo. Police. Yeah, he said he didn't speak any English and he said he didn't know what he was doing, but it's, you know, it's hard to say. I think he knew exactly what he was doing. Delete. You're a creep. Yeah, I'm just going to take your memory card, eh? There's too many. If if I don't take this, you will go to the police, go like this, like the police will come, OK? Because you can't, no, you can't take photos of the girls. Oh, it's something that a lifeguard can do if you think there's photos on there that shouldn't be, you can uh, dispose of it. When you get the card, got the, got the heavy duty shears out, I'm going to I'm going to cut it in half. There's no more card. Everyone's happy. He's going home. Case closed, yeah. Jake, one, pervert, zero. <laughs> yeah, we've just um, had a report from a member of the public that between the middle set of flags, a um, pervert has been caught taking photos of just women. The topless women are completely unaware they're being photographed. Yet what the man doesn't realise is that he's being watched too. You got him, eh, Whip? Oh, mate, he's so blatantly doing it. The Chapo's called the police. 
And we've caught a bloke taking photos of girls on the beach, like real sleazy and sly. And we'd like some officers to come down and attend if they could. Whippet's going in for a closer look. He keeps his shirt off to stay undercover. Chapo, I could see him with his arms folded, taking photos sort of out the bottom of his arm with his camera, and then he'd just go sit down, pull his towel over his lap, and then he's just having a look at his photos. Yeah, he's having a look at them now. Whippet's nervous the man will escape before police arrive. As lifeguards wait for police, the situation is getting worse. Another woman has just reported that he's uh, doing stuff under the towel. After he goes and takes all the photos, he's looking at them and he's um, sort of playing with himself. So, do you see anything from there? I can't see that much detail from here, thank God. But do we hold and wait for the coppers? Because we're going to get him red-handed. <laughs> Look how many coppers there are. Hello, sir. Hello. We're Craig McGuinness, this is my name, from Bondi Police Station. Uh -huh. uh, we've had a complaint that you may have been taking some photos of some of the other people on the beach today. Yeah. Has that been the case? Yeah. Are you aware that that's actually an offence? No. What sort of photos have you been taking, sir? Uh, topless. Okay. And was anybody aware that you were actually taking the photos? Well, obviously somebody was, but... Uh... You know, but none of the people that you were taking the photos of? Did anybody say anything to you at all? We'll just um, have a chat to some of the people whose photos appear on your camera. Uh, we'll just have to see what they have to say and we'll decide what's going to happen after that, OK? Yeah. OK. The guy who first spotted it, his, he reckons his wife got definitely photographed. And, uh, and another two girls down there as well. The man appears to have taken photos of many different women. The police were, like, pointing at me. I did think something was wrong, but then they came over and just said, someone's been taking photographs of me. The policeman showed me the photographs with me close up, half naked. <laughs> it's disgusting. How does it make you feel? I'm quite upset, to be honest. So what are you going to do now? I'm just going to make a statement at the police station. People like that, they're just not wanted at the beach. They're just scum, really. They just ruin so many people's days just for their own disgusting enjoyments. He came up to us and he was like, oh, will you take a photo of me? But as he stood up, he, like, started taking photos yeah, of, of us. us. And then we've seen him do it, like, three times. And he was over there before, like, trying to kiss these girls. So I took a video of him on my Snapchat. Today isn't the first time lifeguards have received complaints about this man. Beardy and that had thrown him off the beach a couple of times already. Inappropriate touching can be regarded as assault. After pressing his hand towards this woman's breast, the man tries to kiss her. Hey! Come here! What the f are you doing? Me? Kissing girls, touching girls over there. Not touch? Yes, I just saw that. Yeah? Yeah, stop it. Yeah. Get, get your gear and go. Okay, get your gear right. and go. Okay. Otherwise, the police will come. Today, the man is back and he's up to his old tricks. He's fing hustle on these chicks. Look, she's putting her top on and that. The man offers to do up the woman's bikini. Reedy can't sit back any longer. I sort of summoned my heavy chest and went down there and tried a bit of a heavy-handed approach. Get off the beach. What? Get off. What are you doing? What's he, what's he on? Are you friends with him? Yeah. Get off the beach. The man refuses to admit fault. But Reedy isn't backing down. Get off the beach. Get off the beach. Get off the beach. I'm coming down to this beach. Yeah, yeah. Taking photos of girls. You're not into Why? 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 But remarkably, he only relocates to the grassy area at South Bondi. Do you reckon you guys could send a, a couple of crew down if you're not too busy? We've just got this guy, we've thrown him off the beach a couple of times. Like, and he's just hassling chicks all the time. We weren't super busy on the beach, so I walked down to South and just monitored him till the police arrived. Yeah, they're, um, they're walking south, you won't miss them. And as soon as he saw them, he bolted. Cops are running. Here we 
go. Reedy's going to take him down here. Reedy's got him. He sort of stopped still, and I grabbed him on the arm. It looked like he wanted to resist a little bit, but I think he saw the boys in blue coming behind me. What are you running for, dude? What you about? Yeah. What's why, why did you run up the hill? Hmm? Why did you run up the hill? Nice. Just what I thought. I'm still here. Come to the beach. Well, if you go through his photos on his phone, yeah. mate, you'll see the I don't know what he's doing with Nothing. Yeah. I come back to beach. Nothing. Oh, what, what for? What are you doing it for? Police, check the man's phone. But all photos have been deleted. And without any of the women present to make a statement, police must let the man go. You kind of don't invade other people's space. And this guy was just doing exactly that. He was just getting all up all up in women's space and making them feel really uncomfortable. It's a matter for police. Police right here. But Bondi's other boys in blue are currently occupied. So we gotta find him, locate him, and just keep monitoring on him until police can come down and take him away. One of the victims recalls what happened. This 23-year-old guy, like, he was drunk, came off and, like, kissed my mate on the cheek. She's only 15. And then he followed us into the water. Um, and then, like, when he couldn't get my mate, he came to me and, like, chucked me into the water, um, but didn't get my consent to do that. On the shoreline, lifeguards identify the man. I could smell alcohol on him. I just I told him just to stay still and stuff, and he got up and ran back in the water. Um, he just had to go out of the water. Yeah, All I want to do is just try and hold him until the police arrive and those young girls will be fine and they can go carry on with their day. When I got down there and I started speaking to the guy, straight away I could pick up the guy straight on the defensive. Then when we started talking, he kind of knew something was up and that's when he actually stood up towards me. I thought, we're going to fight here in a minute, you know. Harrison attempts to cool things down. That's when you say, look, police are going to come down here and have a chat. If you've done nothing wrong, stay. The cop was there, you know, he goes up to him and said, look, there's accusations that you've been, you know, harassing young girls. And at this stage, he gave the bloke two options. You can come up on your own terms, or if you're going to play up, we're going to have to handcuff you, and we have to take you up that way in front of everyone. And he kept on arcing up. Without a partner, the police officer faces a solo arrest with a man who won't go willingly. And uh, that's where things escalated once again. It just happened so quickly. Oh, I think the last time I arrested someone was probably playing cops and robbers in the schoolyard. Are you being serious? Like, if you can't pretty much sort of it. Police must investigate the serious allegations. I don't know, I don't know, I, I don't even know why you guys brought me here. Like, what did I do wrong? Approaching minors and kissing them. Bro, I didn't kiss anyone. Okay. And guess what? Said, let's go. You. Let's go to the uh, let's go to the court, and I'm We're charging. Going to. I'm charging you, and, and I'm charging this guy. Police have got him. It's really quite challenging, actually, to capture these people and get witnesses sometimes. Some older girls from the group arrived to make statements. I kept running away from him, but he kept following, and then that's when like he threw us into the like threw me in the water, and told him like not to do it. And then he was like, but I didn't do anything wrong and all this stuff. But like he obviously did if he like touched us, that's just not on if you don't have, like, their permission. Something you don't want to experience when you come to the beach on a really hot day, planning on just swimming and having fun with your friends. The man was charged with indecent assault of a minor. 